guys, it's Revenger2 here. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to finish Cayo Perico. We've done the scope out, we've done the vehicle preps, we've done the equipment preps and the weapon loadout. So let's get into it. Let's make it rain here. And let's go to Cayo Perico to finish what we started with El Rubio. All right, guys, we're on the Kasatka here, and uh, let's start up the finale. Man, let's go to the planning board and get through it really quickly. Let's get some armor here. You know, can never be too safe. Solo, of course. Revenger 2 works best alone. Let's get our approach vehicle, Stealth Annihilator Helicopter, Infiltration Point, North Drop Zone, Compound Entry, it's a Slept Main Gate, Escape Point, Select the Airstrip, Daytime, and don't need to select Weapon Loader because we only have one. So go ahead and get your whatever armor or whatever style you want, it's totally up to you. So let's get this started. We're flying into Cayo Perico on the helicopter. I've always wanted to be go fly in a helicopter and sit on the side of it like, like that. So maybe one day. Beginning approach. It looks like they still don't know we're here. Try and keep it that way. Just this side side motion here. Is yeah, it will make you seasick if you or air sick, that's what you say. We'll make you seasick. So we're going to, we chose the north drop zone to give us an added challenge of trying to make the elite challenge. So hopefully we will make the elite challenge. And if not, you know, it's not the end of the world. But I think we can do it. I think that the elite challenge is very possible. You just gotta be on your A game. So to land at the north drop zone it is essential that you take a dirt bike or a vehicle very quickly okay. preferably a dirt bike because they're fast they're agile however they break really easy and if you hit water they're done so just be wary of that all right let's repel down you know my hands must be hurting because i have no gloves on and rope burn is, is a thing oh but all right, let's get started. Take this dirt bike right here. You have a Jeep and another dirt bike, so you have options. But, you know, let's go get one of the secondary targets over at the North Dog. Um, the North Dog is one of the, I say, easier targets to get, but also one of the harder ones to get out from because there's just so many guards packed into a tiny space. And one guard sees one guard and it's over. Um, these trees, they break very easily somehow, even though, you know, they're, they're trees. All right, so go in this right here, wait till this guy starts moving, and then walk up behind him. Wait until right about here where these blue pallets are and knock him out because anywhere else, um, the guards that are patrolling and jeeps can see somehow. Um, open the open this lock up here and grab the cocaine Cocaine there is another set of cocaine on the island However, it is a very difficult spot with two guards standing out front and every time I try To figure out how to get the one that one. It just doesn't work. So I'm going to skip this one today Because I've done done this route a few times this, this, this specific route So it's not like I I don't know what to expect um, but yeah let that guard pass in the Jeep right there he just keeps going he stops for a brief second you know but but then goes back on but you know let's go ahead and get back on the dirt bike you know got to got to fly here you know got to make that challenge you see my thing is how can the guards not see a person in white clothing and our dirt bike with a blue and yellow duffel bag. That wouldn't be suspicious at all. So head out this way towards the, towards the 
uh, tower, the, one of the towers here. Now, you can either go multiple ways through this. You go straight to the center, you can take the guards out, go around the left side here, the way I'm going, or go back towards the party area. And, you know, so we'll see. We'll see what we got. So go slow around the, around the rocks here. You don't want to dunk the wood. Like I said, you don't want to put the dirt bike in the water. And now I have to either swim around the island or make a plan B. I'm going to choose plan B. So plan B is to go through the party area and go to the main dock that way and to get a boat. So my idea is I know there's a boat that spawns at the main dock and I know that I can get to it with relatively ease. It doesn't matter if there's guards there, there it shouldn't be that bad. I could take that truck but risk getting spotted because that guard is really close. You know, so just go through the, this gate here. It's unlocked, unlike in the scope out. The scope out, the gate, the gate is locked. Um, you, but you, you can go up here. You can run up this hill here. Unlike the other ones, you cannot. For some reason, they seem like it's just so slippery with algae or something. Climb this rock like, a, like an Olympic um, athlete, just running as fast as you can, even with weight in your bag. So you got to be careful when you go down through here because, you know, you need to enter at a safe space normally i like to enter more towards the end of the dock and that to the outlet and to the ocean here because there's only one patrolling guard versus multiple patrolling guards and this guard is in any very suitable place for me to take him out because he's by himself once again if you do kaya Pulito enough you'll start to learn the guard and the and their patterns as you see the flashing bag down there is a grappling hook. I could grab that, but I have no time for the, for the grappling hook. So I'm just observing what I can do. I'm seeing, okay, is the guards in a bad spot? So I'm gonna swim on the water, you know, try my best to reduce the visibility of me. Just don't go through the cones of vision. Somehow they still see you. So I'm going to go for this boat up here. This dinghy. Um, because this guard moved, left his post. Which is, you know, dumb. If he was to stay there, then he couldn't have access to the dinghy. There's another dinghy. Where those two guards are at right there. Um, my guy does, doesn't want to get in the boat. You press triangle. Or whatever button you need to get into the boats. Or vehicles. And they still don't want to respond correctly. Anyways, got the boat. Let's... GTFO around the around the coast we go the coast of the island there's no patrol boats here because you actually landed on the island itself and not took, took the um not took, took the boat uh the long fin in that I see there's no patrol boats but you know you never know um maybe they just didn't spawn it's fine. But like I said, the guard patterns do change every time you play. However, I will build guard patterns in, in this compound. They don't change. So if you memorize those and once you get into this compound, then yeah, you're, good. You're, you're golden. So we're going to go ahead and go to the drainage tunnel. Like, Revenger, the drainage tunnel is easy. Why don't you go to the main gate? It's my heist. You can go through the main gate, through the wall, the exterior walls, whatever. It's totally up to you. You know, there's videos on my channel of me going through the different entrances and, you know, using different things to wait to get in and out. So it's highly up to you. I like the drainage tunnel. I know the drainage tunnel route once I get into the compound. So it, you know, so this is just me. This is how I play. You know, if you don't want to play like this, you don't have to discover what works for you. That's the beauty of this heist there's more than one approach and my approach isn't the only approach so getting the these grill cuts cut open the grates here you know with the acetylene torch that we got from the prep so we used all of our prep items except for the demolition charges because the demolition charges are pretty much useless unless you go through the main gate loud um so yeah to me after getting robbed multiple times, they would just weld this grate shut and not open it at all. 
you know, that's just my opinion, but, you know, I'm neither, you know, it's neither, I'm not El Rubio, so. All right, we're into his compo. Let's get to it. All the guards are optional kill, or optional to kill. You don't need to kill them. Just, you know, it's a lot easier if they're out of your way. Pick that guy, you know, he's my way. Technically, you would bump into him if you go this way. I, I just want a better line on this guy because he always comes over. And throw it behind him, hit him, he's down for count. Wait for that guard to turn, go. You can run, you can sprint, but he can't hear you somehow. Keep running. Keep running all the way up until these you hit these steps here. And then you start walking a little bit more. And then crouch walk. Let that guy not hear you. Hit this guy. No key. Okay. Getting worried because the guard the guard that I pass sometimes has the key, but he's a hard to kill because others will spot him now. Okay, no key for him, so my option is to go through the office, which is fine. But first, let me cut out this painting. It's a replica scream, a replica alien portrait. It looks like the scream to me. I don't know art. It looks fancy. Anyways, it's now mine. Always, always go to El Rubio safe. There's always extra stuff in here. So, you know, a pistol and some, a few stacks of cash. You know, pick up the key card if you want. You don't have to, but if you're solo, then it's not useful. Go to the fingerprint corner. His office will have three. Three fingerprints. While the entrance tunnel, the, the small entrance tunnel in the, on the bottom with the unique key, it only requires two. Well, it requires one on normal and two on elite, or three on elite, I think it And El Rubio on elite has four. Just cycle through the fingerprints, master pictures, and pretty much just... At, at this point, once you start memorizing the patterns, you don't need to really do anything else other than just continuously match them up and you know you know just keep filling them with them until until they pop open like this and bob your uncle all right let's go let's go downstairs and steal our primary target because we have full loot bags full secondary loot mm. Uh, let's burn this lock with the selling torch. This is why you don't need the bolt cutters. You know, bolt cutters are useless. You just use the selling torch. All right, let's cut through the glass with the plasma cutter. This plasma cutter normally takes three and a half to four to do. So it overheat it there. So it cool down a little bit. You're not racing against anything. There's no alarm on the safe. That would trigger just to continue to overheat. But three and a half, four on that one. All right, got the sense of me to tequila. I need to go back out the way I came because I can't, I don't have the key. If I had the key, then yeah. Probably would be beneficial to have the key and to go through his office because you're making less, less moves. So let's go ahead and go back down. Go back down where we came. Avoid the guards. Uh, avoid the juggernaut guard. He has a minigun because I didn't do any of the optional preps. Um, but you can and he will have nothing but a pea shooter. Just go past this guy. He's he's not very smart. And since you're coming up from here, you can go up this walkway without having to go jump down. You go, around, go around this way and go out this way because that guard's vision. And then you can exit right about here. And that's it. You're done pretty much. You just need to get off the island now. And when you are exiting the island, follow my path off to the island and everything will be easy. I mean, just press the green button and be smarter. Um, I mean, go up, run up to this guy. You know, he has, he has a dirt bike for us, all ready for us. 
And then, let's go. I mean, you can go left to right here. I just prefer to go right because it's you know, safer. And, uh, you won't get shot sometimes, depending on how far that car is and to his pattern. You could go right right there, but I choose to go left as well. That the try to land in the water, get into the water as quickly as possible. You see these triangles in front of you. See mines that form a triangle in front of me. You want to swim between those. Put on a leaf breather if you have them. You don't need them. You should make it with plenty of oxygen left. As long as your lung capacity is at max. If it's not at max, then definitely use rebreathers. I use rebreathers just in case my game decides it doesn't want to exit me or Rockstar changes it exiting me on the island. All right, so we are exiting the island now. And let's see what we got. Let's see how much the fencing fee is. A fencing fee is when you have someone sell it for you and wash it, as they say. And the duffel back to him, get a mysterious brown package. Let's see how much is inside. Heist pass, platinum, of course, I'm the only one here. Potential take, you can never get. Hundred percent, of course. So let's see if Elite Challenge. Clip on fifteen minutes. That was the biggest. Thirteen minutes, forty-five. Zero hex failed. And full loot bags. So that means Elite Challenge is complete. One point three million dollars on the Cayo Preco Ice. Thank you guys for joining me. See you soon.